Malcolm. I want another skateboard to race with. So, I've made you one. But, um, I, I don't want to go on a skateboard. Come on, you'll love it. But... Right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Just driving, that is. Are you okay, uh, Morgan? Yes. Um, uh, you best get on with the race. We'll see you later. <laughs> As they come into the home street, it's Maxi Road. Where are we going? Hey, you Rory! Call yourself a racing car? Well, you didn't even finish, you little oil drip. Hey, Maxi, there's no need oh, for that. Sorry, and about your please. driving, what you did out there was dangerous. It was my tyres. They're very slippery. Your tyres? Oh, all right. Well, it just so happens there's a new set arriving tomorrow. Fantastic. They should sort you out. Rory, what's up? You didn't finish the race, son. I think there's something wrong with my engine. Well, don't you worry about it. We'll get you sorted out in the morning, eh? Keep a squeak. <laughs> Enjoy your trip, Malcolm. <laughs> uh, it is not funny. I caused an accident. Yes, yes. Arrived this morning, sir. Don't worry, Mr. Carburetta. Everything is under control. I don't want to go on the skateboard again. You should do. I've chewed the engine and it's a lot slower now. <laughs> uh, sometimes, Flash, you can be so harebrained. Uh, uh, Malcolm? Cos I'm a motor man. A motor man. Oh, I don't know where my father is. I don't know where he's at. This sinking is driving me crazy. Hey, hey Big Chris, don't man. scratch my paint, will you? Don't worry, Maxi. Now, where did I put my spanner? Where's that little fella gone? Are you receiving? Who said that? Who said that? Who? Oh, can you hear voices? Are you there? All right. He's he's talking to this. Is that you, Marsha? Mr. Carburet is on his way. He wants to see Rory and Maxie race. Are they both ready? Maxie's tyres are all fitted. What about Rory? Next on the list. I'm off to find Malcolm. I need his help setting up the safety cones. Over and out. <gasps> there you are, Malcolm. Something wrong? It's flesh. He makes fun of me when I can't do the things he can do. Just makes me feel useless. Well, I don't think you're useless. Come on, give me a hand with the safety codes. <laughs> oh, great job, Malcolm. Thank you, Marsha. Oh, no, Mr. Carpenter's here already. We'd better get back. <laughs> Get to that starting grid. Oh. What's up, son? I think I'm low on fuel. But better get somebody else to race, Maxie. You're full of fuel. Why don't you tell me what's wrong, eh? No, oh, I don't want to race because Maxie's always picking on me. I love being here with you at Silver Hatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but if Come I'm on, no then. good, then. Why didn't you tell me this before? I don't know how to say it. I don't know where to start. But Maxie's always teasing me. You can only do your best, my son. You can't do any more. If someone hurts you, it always helps to tell a friend. If someone's been unkind, there's no need to pretend. Just remember, Rory, you'll see your best is good enough for me. Listen to 
to me, son. If someone picks on you, you've got to speak up right away. Now don't you worry what anyone else says. Just don't give up and do your best. Now come on. <laughs> Maxie and Rory, are you ready to light them up? You bet, big kids! Stand by for the green flag. couple of days, haven't you? Maybe. Rory might not have won, but he did his best. He's a true champion. Think about it. Oh, I have been so bad. I'm a sorry, Rory. That's all right, Maxie. Let's just be friends again. There were a lot of lessons learned today at Silver Hatch. Maxie and Flash learned not to make fun of others. And Rory knew that he should speak up straight away when things weren't quite right. <laughs> 